Help. Engaged. Greetings, everyone. In the last part, we managed to tame Snowflake the Tiger, in a matter of minutes. So I think it's best to save our progress, because you never know, something like the game crashing, would mean doing it all again, and I don't think I could beat that time again. I say this, because there have been occasions when she simply wouldn't eat the steaks, and just ignored them, choosing to attack truck instead. It is kinda cool, to have a tiger watching your back, although she can be hurt and killed, so keep an eye on her health. Don't fall behind! So, we are going to make our way, towards the security room, which is here. If you watched the first cutscene upon entering the Yucatan Casino, you would have seen a survivor in it, and he just so happens to be holed up in the security room, but before we go there, let's jump up here to grab some valuable goodies. Some Zomrex, and an LMG. Cool. Like Ted, this guy is a bit slow too. But he's more the Rain Man autistic type, rather than just plain retarded. Don't let me die! Stay close! What can I say? He's autistic. So Lenny here, ends up taking us near the toilets, but it's probably best to follow him there, rather than just running there yourself. You never know with the AI, it makes certain characters wait until you are with them, before they move on. So now we have two survivors with us. Cool. LMGs are probably the best weapon you can give survivors. They do a damage of 4. The most damage any weapon can do, is 5, like the sniper gun for example. But an LMG has a much faster firing rate, so it can clear an area of enemies pretty quickly. Our next stop, is Palisades Mall, but before we go there, I will pick up a special item. A very expensive item actually, which cost us a million bucks in part 3. And if you saw that episode, then you might know what I mean. Yep, the chopper motorbike.
This bike does look pretty cool though, but I'm not sure if it's worth a million bucks. Two survivors can be found inside the shop on the left. It's best to tell our current survivors to wait outside or we risk friendly fire incidents. You have to get Jack to follow you first, before Kenneth will follow. Stay right there. You, go there! Machetes are pretty decent weapons for these two, especially the old man. Looks like our little survivor gang is ready, so let's move on. Let's go. Stick close! Wait there! Let's go! The magazine in here, called Leadership, makes survivors more useful and brave. Also, weaken survivors who you would normally have to help in some way. For example by carrying or lending a shoulder, will no longer need the assistance, and will keep up with you like normal survivors. Keep going! Our next destination, is the Americana Casino, so we might as well get there, in comfort, safety, and more importantly, style. Just kidding, the most important thing is actually comfort. Out of the way, snowflake, or you'll become a pancake. Now you know why I made all that money in part 3.
you can get along just fine without these vehicles, but it's more fun this way. There are two more survivors in here to rescue, but it's best to move these other guys out of the way first. Move over there. Snowflake is pretty unpredictable, and I don't want her attacking one of the new survivors. You'll see why in a moment. There's also a third survivor in the security room, but we'll get to her after we deal with these two first. As you can see, Stuart is hostile, so we will have to beat some sense into him, before he stops being hostile. Don't do too much damage to him though, or he might defect altogether, or die soon after when he does finally join. Stuart has joined, so we need to talk to Brittany now, to get her to join too. We'll put these two with the rest, and then go get the final survivor in this area. You go! You could say, this next side mission is sick, but in the literal sense, not the slang term. So normally, we would have to carry her, like this. But because I have the leadership magazine, I can actually let her follow me, like a normal survivor. Keep close! As you can see, the drunk lady is following us just fine, without any assistance. Stick close! Move it! 
Before you enter the warehouse, make sure to take back any useful weapons, such as the LMG. Stay close! We have about 13 real-time minutes, before the next main mission starts, so I think we can do a couple more side missions. The Brains Over Bronze side mission, should have triggered at 3.30pm, but sometimes it will not show up because we had several survivors with us already. The survivors might well be at their location, but we are not informed via the transceiver. Let's skip forward a little. We now have two psycho boss fights to complete, and we will be doing the, meet the contestants, one first. For this fight, you need at least two sniper rifles, or two LMGs. As it so happens, we have one of each, so we will stick with them. To trigger this fight, we must head towards the Fortune City Arena, via Fortune Park, which is the area outside the arena, and Royal Flush Plaza. Basically, we go right here. Chucky Queen. Didn't get enough of me yet? Come back for my autograph? Oh, I bet you just get rock hard thinking about me at night, don't you, Chucky? You come to throw your panties at me? <laughs> Whatever, buddy. Look, I can take you to the bunker where it's safe. Bunker? Where it's safe? Man! You are a pussy, aren't you? I used to follow you when you did motocross. But look at you now. You're a broken man. You just don't got it anymore, do you? What's your problem? Are you such a chump, Chuck? Hey! Over here! I'll race you for him. A zombie. Yeah, no shit, Chuck. Twice the points. Harder to hit because they move around so much. Bastards. You're crazy. This isn't a game. You're right about that. That was just practice. <laughs> now, it's a game. Terror is reality, baby, for real. <laughs>
This can be an annoyingly long fight, but I will show you a quick technique. Just go to the save point in this area, save the game first, and then stand next to the maintenance room. Then simply shoot at him, until he dies. In hindsight, two LMGs would have been quicker, but I normally always use a sniper gun, since it can be more accurate. I normally never get hit by him, but I think I was a little bit impatient here, and wanted to kill him quick. So much for this boss fight. So now we have two bikes available to us, in this outside area, one on each side. Quite a few side missions will suddenly become available, but our current objective is Fortune City Hotel, to tackle the brains over bronze side mission. <laughs>
We are heading towards the red question mark, directly in front of us, according to the map. These four nerds would join us right away, if we had a female survivor with us. But since we don't, we have to listen to some geek speak. We don't have much time, but you really should give these nerds some weapons. They can make an effective army against a boss enemy, especially if they all had guns, but since there are not that many to hand, melee weapons will have to do. Amazing! Damn you, bitch! Faster! Right on! Hurry up! Thanks a lot. Aha. Uh -huh. Another present for Katie. Oh, yeah. Keep going! I want to find some money. Anybody got that? This way! There's the good stuff! Mommy! Stupid nerds, get out of the way. Okay, you asked for this. Ah, this is hey. not happening! Anyway. This is the route we will be taking, back to the safe house. Keep it moving! Go over there! That urgent message means that the next case file has started, so we have to hurry back but not until we have picked up two more survivors. Keep moving! Keep close! Stick with me! Stay close! Stay right there!
Thank you. Stick close. Still there? Move it. This way. Keep it moving. Head that way. Follow me. There's a boss fight available near the save point on the left, but we really don't have time anymore. A shame really, because the survivor gang I have put together, would have meant the fight would last only a few seconds. Come on! And that's a good strategy actually, to use the survivors as backup. Ideally, if we could give each of them an LMG, then boss fights would not last long at all. With melee weapons, the survivors prove to be more of a distraction, and they can get killed quite easily too, but that's more a matter of luck. Keep close. Head that way. Move it. Still there? Move it! I am pissed! Follow me! At this point, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it or not, but I didn't really have much choice but to try to get back in time. And no, that's not a Back to the Future reference. Well, I suppose now it is. Thank you so much! Ha, ah, just look at the time, I had literally 20 seconds left. That's cutting it a bit too close. Anyway, we will continue this in the next episode, where we will start case 2.1. That's all we have time for, this is Blade, and it's goodbye from